Hey there guys, so I got about two hours till the moonrise, so I better set up quickly. <laughs> So I'm all set up now uh, and I'm sorry for the bad lighting but uh, I'm hiding behind a small hill and I don't have a place to put the light but I just want to share what I'm shooting tonight. So for tonight's target I chose the Seagull Nebula uh, and it's the IC2177 uh, I think. Um, and I think I already mentioned but I got uh, around two hours uh, till the moon rises. I didn't check the exact time but I'll try to get uh, as much exposure time as possible. And I'm really pushing my mount, uh, considering that I don't have uh, auto guiding yet, so I'm taking 50 second exposures. Uh, my ISO is 1600, uh, and I set it up 3 second delay between each shot, so the sensor can uh, cool down just a little bit. And we have a really beautiful night, there is not a single cloud in the night sky, so I'll shoot to the last minute that I can. The Seagull Nebula has a magnitude of uh, just below 7, uh, so I'm really hoping that I'll have an image to show it, but I think you will have to wait uh, till the end of the video for that. So I had to change my plans uh, quite a bit and that's mainly because uh, I wasn't happy with the image uh, that I got from one night of shooting and that's mainly because uh, I still have a stock DSLR which isn't modified for uh, astrophotography and I had quite a lot of problems uh, getting the red uh, nebulosity in my images. Uh, I tried to stretch the image in any way possible but uh, I just wasn't happy with the results. So yeah, quite a few days passed now and that's because we had uh, quite a lot of uh, cloudy nights. So by the time I'm recording this, uh, I already got my package. So I'll post an uh, unboxing video uh, in about 2-3 to three days. But yeah, this is the third night uh, I'm shooting the Seagull Nebula. Considering that I have quite a lot of exposure time by now, uh, I think I will have enough data to work on. But yeah, now just uh, let me show you my setup. Okay, so this is how my setup looks. I got a Manfrotto tripod and just a stock uh, Nikon D3200. I also 3D printed myself a couple of holders. And that's one for the phone and uh, one for the intervalometer. So nothing fancy really, but uh, I'm having uh, quite a lot of fun with this setup. Okay, so before I end the video, uh, I just want to share a small tip with you. Uh, if you are having problems uh, getting the red colors to pop in your images, uh, you can always go to the red channel in the curves and uh, push them there uh, but just be careful not to blow out the entire image uh, with the red color i hope this will help you i would like to thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you again next time take care bye One, two, three.